friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and today you all know Revan is coming. Or at least we think it's Revan, it's Revan. Now, what I want to do is I want to break down what you may have missed in the actual video, what some of you may not be aware of, and I want to talk about where I think and how I think this character is coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. First and foremost, the video is freaking awesome. Hats off to CG Crumb for creating what I'm sure is an ex one of the most extensive puzzle-solving things, ciphers, that I've seen in a long time. This was, hands down, one of the best puzzles. Not one of This is, hands down, the best puzzle he's created so far, and it is really cool. Now, granted, he posted it super late at night, and granted, he posted it... <laughs> I think it only took the community like a couple of hours to figure it out. But granted, the collective minds of a bunch of nerds working together, we freaking rock. But hats off to those of you guys who actually spent the time and solved the puzzle. Opening scene. For those of you who's don't, who don't know this, this is a direct shot from Knights of the Old Republic, the first one. This is you're the main character walking into the tomb of Naga Sadao. Naga Sadao was an ancient Sith Lord who was super powerful. He led the Sith Empire to a great victory, like domination, so on and so forth. He was cool, to say the least. But when he died, as all Sith do, except for, you know, Plagueis, but even then we don't know if Plagueis is actually dead. He might be dead. He's probably dead. You have this, you have your character entering the tomb and, you know, fighting these these beasts these beasts are called tarantetics what's cool though is again entering naga Sadao's tomb this beast so cool first thing that comes to my mind is one why is he entering naga Sadao's tomb right is it strictly for the you know the connection to revan is it strictly for hey we know that it's revan this is a scene from kotor nothing more to it very possible it's very possible that that's the case I do think, however, that this is also leading to something else, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, the next thing that really sticks out to me is you don't see his face, and his robes are a brownish, tannish color, which again hints at Jedi Knight Revan. We don't see the color of his lightsaber. This, A lot of this is just throw, saying, hey, this is confirming that this is Jedi Knight Revan. And it's freaking, freaking cool. Now, this Tarantetic, this is a beast that lives off of the Force. It consumes the Force. It eats the Force. And it is a monster for for Force-using creatures, right? And in the temple or in the tomb of Naga Sadao, the ancient Sith Lord had two of these beasts guarding his doors, right? Guarding his chambers, right? So if, if in case he wanted to wake up or whatever... He had his loyal pets keeping him company? I don't know. Um, I'm not sure on the canon at that point, or I'm not sure on the lore at that point. It's not canon anymore. But, again, this is all speculating that we are going to be getting Jedi Knight Revan. And until CG officially confirms, I am going to call this speculation, and I know that's stupid. But all I'm going to say, guys, is Revan, or this character, could pull off his hood, and that could be C-3PO under there. And it could be a big middle figure to all of us. I don't think they're going to do that. It is very unlikely that they're going to do that. But they could. I don't think that's the case, though, guys. I really don't think it is. But I also don't think this is the start of something major. I do think something major is coming. And this could be hinting at that. First and foremost, guys, if this is a Jedi Revan, it is coming. Most likely not in a hero's journey. It's probably not going to come as a marquee character. We, th I think they've learned their lessons. I think that we're going to see this character as a legendary character. Someone who we will eventually use to unlock a hero's journey, Revan. That would make the most sense to me. It, it really would. If this is a legendary character, then you're going to use the Old Republic tunes that have just gone free to play. And, and I say free to play loosely because... They're on, like, the highest notes possible. Now, typically with these events, typically with these types of characters, you see either an opposing faction or a supporting faction uh, allowing you to unlock the characters. I think with the Jedi training Ray, you were able to use the Resistance. 
I don't think there's going to be a lot of other characters that could potentially be used to unlock a Revan. I do think that we could be seeing an HK47 rework coming that would give him the Old Republic tag, which would allow players to use him as a farmable tune or as a tune that you could use to unlock this character, which would make sense because Revan and HK47 were pretty freaking awesome together, and HK47 hasn't had a rework yet, and needs one and it's odd that he hasn't but if it's a legendary character then it's likely that we're going to be using the old republic character so so all those tunes that just went on uh, went free to play will it be coming sooner rather than later i'm hoping that we have at least a month before this character launches now they did give us two weeks before chewy they did kind of spring uh, Thrawn on us when the Thrawn event went live, and so it's it's possible we could get him in two weeks. I'm hoping that it's not, and if it does, I'm hoping they are able to just drop like someone like Cartho Nassian to a shop. That would be phenomenal. Um, a Mandalore would be phenomenal, or a Candorous Ordo would just be th like throw a Candorous in there, kind of like they did with Bodhi Rook. That would be great. Um, Someone that be could be an easy farm to help you get this. It would go a long way, I think, in the community if they did something like that. Because they haven't done something like that for a long, long time. Now, again, I do think this is going to be coming as a legendary event. Simply because it's Revan. And what better character to have a legendary event for than Revan? Additionally, they've given us like five Hans. They could use like five Revans to go from like his entire span like you could go from like jedi revan to like the mandalorian war which again would introduce the mandalorian tag like i've been asking for there's a lot of potential here to really build off of this and i while i don't know what's going to happen it really is a great tool or a great opportunity for them to one make just a ton of ton of money hand over fist this is one of those things that's really making me consider do I want to drop 20 bucks? Do I want to drop 50 bucks on some crystal refreshes so that I can get my characters up? Uh, maybe I do, maybe I don't. I probably won't because, man, that's uh, it probably wouldn't be enough. This is an example of what I'm currently working with on my personal account. This is my Old Republic team. I'm nowhere close, guys. If you go to swgoh.life, they have this Old Rep this, they have this Should I Panic Farm tool, and it's pretty awesome. And since we don't have a specific date, they let you put in the date for how long it you think the Revan event is coming. And man, it allows you to really see how long it's going to take you. And as you can tell, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to need some serious, serious help. Now, one thing to remember, guys, this is a road ahead post. While I do think something revolving the Tarantetic is in the works... It does look very much like what we saw with... It looks like the opening scene of the Rancor, right? I mean, and let's face it, the Rancor needs a big kick in the pants because they're not going to update the Rancor to like a mythic event because the Rancor raid kind of is the mythic event. It was the first mythic event. And then we got a bunch of other stuff. We could be seeing the first stage of a Naga Sadao raid. Now... Granted, the Sith Triumvirate Raid is not super old. I mean, it's still fairly new. But it is possible, it is very, very possible, that we could see something in quarter four, maybe February, January, February, March of next year. For CG, that's their fiscal quarter four. We could see that. We could see Naga Sadao, the raid, showing up at that time. Now, what I do think we're going to be seeing is in the next month, probably in the next month, a lot more information coming out. I would be absolutely shocked if the Game Changers weren't going to be heading out to Sacramento sometime in the next couple of weeks to figure out what all of this is about. I would be absolutely flabbergasted. That's right, I said flabbergasted. If we didn't get some kind of information soon from those guys now lucky is all i gotta say because dang this is a huge drop this is a huge get but since it doesn't seem like they were told beforehand i'm not thinking that this is going to be an event like a raid like a new territory battle 
that we're going to see anytime soon because they didn't know. This isn't something that they've been sitting on. They were all really excited about this, and as they should be, but I don't think that this is going to be a new raid. I don't think this is going to be a new territory battle. I think this is going to be a legendary character. At most, it's going to be a hero's journey character. Will it be? I don't know. Will we get an HK47 rework? Fingers crossed that we do because I'm not going to be able to farm all of these characters before the end of the month. And whether we have until the end of the month or not is still yet to be seen. But if you go back and look at some of the other things, it really does leave two weeks at most or at least maybe a month at most. The the Sith raid was given to the game changers in mid February, I believe the trip was. And then at the 1st of March, all of that stuff was was brought out. All of that stuff was was given to to the rest of the community. So it's very possible that we could see something along those lines. I don't know. I am really freaking excited about this, guys. Revan is an amazing character. I'm I, and and I'm not as I'm not as excited about Revan as what the rest of this could mean. But what do you think? Are you excited? Are you stoked? Are you I don't know, just give me your thoughts. Leave a question, leave your comments in the section below. I'll leave a link to the the videos that I was using here and I'll leave links to to the game if you guys haven't checked it out, guys. Check it out. They're pretty they're pretty awesome games. Kotor 1 and 2 are great and they're fun. And I think they're even you can even get them on like your tablets and stuff. So I don't know. I'll I'll leave those in the section below. But let me know what you guys think. I have loved the conversation, the community that's going on. This has been Thaddeus from the Going Nerdy. As always, my friends, stay nerdy. Oh.